that has been a game changer in my skincare routine since I started using it is retinol and this is the reason why happy new year if this is your first time here don't forget to subscribe like uh, and turn on the notification bell so that next time when i upload a video you'll be the first one to want to see it if you're new to skincare i got you covered with the retinal skincare routine and i'm also going to show you some of the mistakes to avoid when you start using retinols so there's so many mistakes that so many people do make when using when starting using retinols and then they stop using retinol when they have irritation and i am going to show you all of that so let's build this skincare routine together these are tips to follow when you start using retinols. So what are retinols? Retinols are a form of vitamin A that helps with cell production. So as we age, our skin become, our skin elasticity actually start to, start to weaken. So retinol helps with cell production. In form of that, the, it produces uh, collagen. Collagen helps a lot with skin elasticity. So, these are the, some of the tips that you're going to avoid. You always want to start by washing your hands before you do any skincare. So I'm going to use this uh, CeraVe Cream to Form Cleanser. On the days that you're using retinols, on the days that you're using retinols, you want to avoid cleansers with AHA, BHA, AHA or BHA. So example of those cleansers are like this one from CeraVe, this one from CeraVe. These are these are ingredients AHA, BHA. These are ingredients that if you mix them together, they are going. They might start irritating your skin. So I'm going to use this CeraVe cream to form cleanser. So the number one tip that you want to follow when you use a retinol is that you want to start slowly. Slowly, I means you want to start maybe two, two to three times a week. So you want to start two to three times a week so if you can use it maybe twice or three times a week and if you see irritation you want to start spacing it out so if you're somebody who uses a ret if you want if you use a retinal monday tuesday and wednesday and you start seeing a uh, irritation in your skin you start seeing irritation in your skin you want to slow down maybe you start using it once per week the other tip is that you want to apply retinols at night. The reason why you want to apply retinols, I'm going to use this toner from uh, Anua Heart to Anua Heart Leaf. The reason why you want to use retinols at night is that cell production, cell production do happen at night. So if you use use retinol at night it's going to help with the cell production that happens at night so after cleansing your face some people prefer to just apply retinol direct but i always try to use a toner with it retinols are going to exfoliate your skin retinol will even your skin tone retinols will help you if you have wrinkles and you have fine lines that it's going to it's going to reduce that and retinol will give you that glowy glass skin that your skin that your skin might need so after applying a toner you want to avoid 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 using retinol on wet face so i'm going to talk about the mistakes to avoid while using retinol so i'm just going to let my skin dry fast then i will apply the retinol so my skin is dry my skin is dry i'm just going to apply this retinol as i talk about the mistakes you want to avoid uh, you want to avoid while using a retinol or the mistake you're going to avoid when you start using your retinol so i'm going to use this anua anua retinol 0.0.0.3 0 .0 niacinamide and renewing serum and if you are a beginner if you are this is a little bit advanced retinol if you are a beginner you want to look for this you want to look for this CeraVe CeraVe resurfacing retinol serum this one will not because they don't say the percentage of retinol in it but this is one product that is not going to it's not going to react to the skin it's going to give you it's going to do what it say it does but if you're somebody who is advanced with retinols you can use other retinols that state how many percent of retinol they have 
like this one do, do state it has 0.3 percent of retinol and also this one from paula's choice it's uh i think it's one percent it's one percent um it's one percent retinol so these are some of the advanced retinol so after using these maybe after the bottle is over and you see how it reacts with your skin you can go to advanced retinol but for a start this is the best this is the best for start so that is like product recommendation so these are these are these these are the mistakes you're going to avoid when using retinol first of all when using retinol you want to use a small a small as just a small amount this is enough for your skin you want to use a, a, a dermatologist or these companies recommend that you use a piece amount a uh, piece size so like this one is just enough for all of your skin don't use a lot of retinol you want to use a very small amount of it then the next the next thing you want to avoid while using the next mistake you want to avoid while using retinol is applying retinols on the sensitive area like on your eye area and also i always avoid because i have very sensitive i have very sensitive skin over here i do get a lot of redness if i get irritation these are the areas that i get irritation so i also avoid applying retinols on those areas but if you're somebody who is very whose who's skin is very irritated a tip i found that helps me a lot is before i apply retinol especially those days my skin is very irritated sometimes and i want to use retinol i always get a vaseline and apply it on my on my eye area so that if retinol goes on that that area it doesn't affect it doesn't affect my it doesn't irritate my skin so that is one mistake you want to avoid you want to avoid using retinol on sensitive area the next mistake you want to avoid is using retinol on wet skin this is very this is very important if you use retinol in, on wet skin it's going to irritate your skin you're going to get irritation a lot and a lot of irritation then the, the next mistake you want to avoid is when using retinol you want to make sure you use a sunscreen you make sure you use a sunscreen i find this dr popo your gorgeous skin sunscreen very good uh, it doesn't leave white cast retinols are going to renew your skin you're going to get a new skin it's like you're going to get a baby skin so this is a new skin so if you go out in the morning because you use retinols at night if you go out in the morning your skin you have a new skin you need to protect it you need to protect it from sun so you need to use a spf which is 30 30 spf sunscreen which is 30 spf and above so you want to make sure you use a sunscreen next day after using retinols at night the thing that people do is giving up on retinols when you see irritation well retinol will irritate your skin they will some of them will irritate your skin especially when you start when i started using this product my skin was very it was irritating my skin but then i just reduced the days that i was using it so i started i started with three days a week so i started spacing it out started spacing it out so i started using it on monday on wednesday on maybe on saturday or i did i just use it twice a week you don't need to use retinols every day there is no need for you to use retinols every day only two or three times a week is enough another mistake you want to avoid is using retinols on spot on spot uh, like a spot treatment retinol will renew cells in your skin so if you just put it on a spot on a spot it just means that the only area that is going to get it's going to get the benefit is the way the only area that you put a spot on it then that is a wasted your product you want to apply a very little amount of uh, retinol all over your skin mm -hmm. so those are some of the mistakes you want to avoid while starting using retinols and this is one of the this is 
this is one of the retinol you can reach out for i think it's 20 pounds i think it's 20 pounds but also ink list as this retinol over here i'll show you on the screen those are some of the recommendation of retinols you want to use. using retinol i always go in moisturizer some people people will not use moisturizer after using retinol but i always find uh <clears throat> using moisturizer do help me a lot i'm using this Hanwha heart leaf intense calming cream uh, this is one product from Anua, a moisturizing cream from Anua that i feel like should go viral <laughs> i always say that on my videos but i love this product it's amazing the moment it lands in your skin it makes your skin so 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 it calms your skin and it will it makes your skin very very calm it has heart leaf which is which helps to calm the skin antioxidant high retinol i always follow it with a moisturizer you can use any moisturizer of your choice this is how my skin looks like this is a beginner friendly <laughs> this is a beginner friendly skincare routine and that is how you can build your skincare routine with retinols and i've also mentioned recommendation and i've also mentioned the mistakes that you um you need to avoid while using retinol so and also you want to remember your skincare is about consistency you want to be consistent with your skin you want to drink water you want to drink water you want to give your skin time to adjust and i believe this video was helpful to you this is the end of this video don't forget to subscribe and i will see you and turn on the notification bell and i will see you in my next video thank you for watching bye bye